Good morning everybody, what's happening, what's going on? Hope you are having a wonderful Sunday morning. Sorry the video went up a little bit later than usual. Um, my Saturday was a little bit busier than usual. Uh, we had a track meet and my kids actually performed pretty well. It went a little bit longer than I anticipated. For some reason the high school didn't understand how to run a high jump pit. So high jump literally took the longest out of any event outside of maybe pole vault and pole vault always takes the longest. So my Saturday was, it was an interesting one. Anyways, let's get into today's video. Okay, so after the cleaning montage, um, I am now able to actually talk about today's coffee review. So welcome to another coffee review with Mitch Modine, your average brewer. So I went and picked up coffee from Trader Joe's, that's where I do a lot of my grocery shopping. And I think this bag is like $3.99, it's pre-ground, it's an 8 ounce, or sorry, a 14 ounce bag. Um, and I did a little research on them. So they are roasted in California, they are roasted by Montaños Brothers. Um, in California, which is a green coffee, um, basically importation place, and then they also do have their branch of roasting and distribution. Um, the coffee overall was supposedly a medium roast. Um, it's 100% Arabica, which means basically from Ethiopia, or it's Ethiopian Yorubichef uh, coffee. Um, it doesn't claim on here to be shade grown or anything like that. I know that the other coffees that you can get at Trader Joe's claim a bunch of other stuff, but they're all dark roasts or French roasts, which most of the time aren't actually French roasts or espresso roasts um, or made for espresso because they're not going to be ground fine enough. This one I found though had a great brew time using the V60. Um, I hit my numbers that I wanted to. Um, I used 30 grams to uh, 500, mil or 500 milliliters of water um, or 500 grams of water. The coffee overall I thought tasted very good. Um, I would say that it was pretty accurate to a medium roast. Um, I think that a lot of medium roasts are going to be a little bit darker than uh, what an actual medium roast is. But as far as a very cheap coffee, this one for $3.99 I thought tasted very well, it brewed very well, it had a beautiful bloom, um, it drained well and gave me a nice flat bed. There was no channeling, um, the grind was fairly consistent all the way through. And yes, I did buy the ground coffee, I think you can buy your own or the beans to this which I'd be interested to see if they are a little bit lighter roasted because I feel like sometimes that they can get away when they have pre-ground coffee that they can get away with having it be a darker roast and still calling it a medium roast. On the side of the little bag here uh, it says, brews a good satisfying cup of coffee, no frills, no fancy, just good coffee at a great price. We created an excellent blend of premium Arabic beans and roasted them to that place where drinkability, smoothness, and enjoyable a joy, enjoyability meet. A medium roast to be precise. Your kitchen table, the office, a to-go cup on the road, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you have a good cup of joe. And that's what this coffee is called. It's called joe, um, an exceptionally smooth cup of coffee. I would say that it is a smooth cup of coffee. It doesn't have a super bitter aftertaste. It's pretty smooth all the way through. You do get hit with some nice, like lighter notes in the beginning. Um, it has like a flatter, um, not necessarily aggressive or not super coffee-esque taste. If you're not new to tasting coffee, um, it'll taste pretty, it'll taste full body. So you'll actually get a full flavor. It won't taste watered down. It'll taste what you would expect coffee to taste like without a very bitter or kind of wrapping your tongue aftertaste if I 
can describe that in a better way for those of you that have never tasted good coffee. Um, and uh, overall, I would give this one probably a seven or an eight as far as coffee. Obviously, having it be cheaper brings that number up a little bit. So overall, it's gonna be like a seven or an eight. Taste-wise, it's probably like a six or a seven. And um, presentation is maybe like at a five. I'm not a huge fan of like one, plastic bags. I wish they were uh, paper. And two, I'm not a huge fan of, I don't know, weird old people drinking stuff out of, I know it's Trader Joe's branding, but anyways. But that's gonna be the end of today's uh, review. If you wanna go try this coffee, you can pick it up at any of the Trader Joe's. I think you can actually buy this even on Amazon. Um, but not a bad coffee for $3.99. I recommend it. It's much, much better than the Target brand stuff that we had last week. So this coffee, not too bad. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I know Saturdays aren't gonna be, or Sunday's videos aren't gonna be the craziest, but tomorrow's Q&A day, so make sure you comment down below what questions you have for tomorrow's video. I'll answer them, um, so tune in tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, remember that I post a video every single day, so go check out yesterday's video, go check out tomorrow's video. I post them usually sometime before nine, obviously this one got up a little bit later, but hey, it's up at least, and uh, we got the coffee video done, and we got an awesome, uh, awesome little cleaning of the house done too, so. That's gonna be the end of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, be nice people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance up fast enough, see if I can do this. I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.